good evening guys it is about 2 p.m and i'm here at the mall we're gonna hit h&m and we're gonna find out what they have new releases for spring yeah i'm so curious so i have a little bit of that time so why not stop by the mall and check h &M. Okay, music is super loud, so I'm gonna try to talk to the microphone, but I really like this. Why not, right? This is skirt with this one shoulder ruffle. Yes, absolutely. And then I am seeing these jeans or white trousers. I don't know, we're gonna find out. And then we have a dress that is polyester. I don't think that I'm 100% with this one. And then we have a vest and then the cargo pants. All right, let's check them out. was super loud so I decided to go ahead with a voiceover the first item that I saw were these bodysuits the fabric is super soft I couldn't find size extra small so I decided to try the size small then I saw this beautiful set the green set that was at the window and the one shoulder top is $24.99 and then the skirt has pockets it's really cute the skirt is $49.99 Then I saw these black trousers made of some kind of a blend and linen. They were very well made, guys. I love the pleats and the belt loops. These ones are, are you ready? These ones are $34.99. The price is just right. Then I saw these cargo pants on this denim fabric. I love them. Honestly, I was looking for a size of 4 or 6 or even 8. <laughs> I couldn't find them. These blend linen pants are perfect for vacation and the price is just $27.99 and they have pockets. Look at this. I have seen these t-shirts with these balloon sleeves. These ones are really cute and the price is just $14.99. These cardigans with these straps are so in right now and I cannot believe the price of this one. This one is just $17.99, it's a must and it looks very expensive. Pleat skirts from H&M are my favorites because the price is just amazing, just $39.99 and the quality is really good guys. Highly recommend a pleat skirt. If you're not sure to invest on a Celine or a Gucci bag, well, guess what? H&M has very similar designs as those. It's best to try the design first with a similar item. And then if you like it, you pull the trigger and invest on high-end pieces. Look what I found at H&M. H&M has espadrilles. They have these ones with this beautiful beige canvas. And I found the black canvas espadrilles as well. These ones are $34.99. Very affordable, guys. And the quality is really, really good. Okay guys, bear with me. I have a baby that is my neighbor and is super loud and is with mom so we need to be very patient because mom is trying to try the, her clothes on and the baby is insane and she has two more babies out. Anyway, so I just feel sorry because I was in that situation as well and it's no good. I know that she doesn't want that her baby be loud and she doesn't want to bother with the baby. <laughs> nothing that we can do about it right now yes kids are kids so we need to let them let them be kids anyway so i am here in h&m on the fitting rooms and i have 10 pieces right now that i'm gonna try for you and i have five pieces outside waiting for me they're holding on those because the max uh pieces that i can try on inside of the fitting room is a 10 so saying that i'm going to show you what i'm gonna try right now uh, obviously, I have the espadrilles. I highly, highly recommend these ones, guys. These ones are espadrilles, of course. They have the canvas and they have the raffia. There's, they look comfortable. I'm gonna try them on. And these ones are size eight. 
the price is $34.99 so look at this they're really good looking I like the the strap here at the ankle which is nice they really well made I saw the black color as well so that's an option guys for espadrilles in case that you're looking for espadrilles uh, affordable price ah, that's the baby <laughs> okay and then we have this dress it's natural linen look at the detail it's a little bit sexy so <laughs> I'm not prepared with my bra but we'll see what we can do okay so this is the dress and then okay where should I start I'm just gonna start this way I have this one the material is like sweatshirt but I think it's really cute you can pair it on a casual way of course with trousers your jeans whatever this one is $14.99 so I like the price and then we have a pair of jeans these ones are size of four they're super soft to the touch they're a little bit you know straight I don't know which which fit this is they call it it's here they call it the white low waist okay low waist it looks pretty high waisted to me but we'll find out these ones are size four and the price is $39.99 and then we're looking for pieces that they are timeless that they look all money but no break in the bank you know the quality is not going to be the best but at least they're going to be doing the job for the season this one is natural linen as well the price is $29.99 and it's size extra small I love the color it's a very light linen baby blue color and then another piece that is going to elevate the look of course we have the stripes this is not a sweater it's more like a top I don't know I think it looks more like a towel <laughs> looks more beachy I like it and look at the, the sleeves so no pasta sauce for you I think it looks very elevated affordable the price is $19.99 this one that I'm gonna try on is size extra small I really like it if you're looking for pieces that are going to elevate the look that look expensive okay that's what we're focusing right now okay so those are the pieces that we have this side and then we have a bodysuit super soft to the touch this one is $14.99 I chose the size is small I'm gonna see how this one fits and then look at this this is so cute I don't think that my brows going to fit here but we'll find out this one that I got is the size of small and the price is $24.99 then I found a pair of pants these are not white pants they're more like beige they're not white off they're more like beige mm -hmm. these ones are size 6 and the price is $24.99 I don't know the fit. What do we have here? It's recycled cotton. Okay, and then wide high waist. I like it. Size six. And then I need to try the cargo pants. I think this will look really put together with a black top or one of these tops that we are that we have right now here. We're gonna pair it in a very spring outfit vibes. This one is 20% recycled cotton and the size that I got size 4 love this olive green we have the pockets here cargo vibes it's going to be well it is a hit this 2023 all right we're looking for pieces from H&M that look expensive but without breaking the bank let's try the first thing I'm happy to report that the espadrilles fit through to size. These ones are size 8 and they fit like a glove. They're pretty comfortable as well. They don't break you. Yes. Okay. Two thumbs up. Alright guys, so this definitely is a dress to go on a vacation, absolutely. It's not a dress to go for dinner and stuff like that, no. It's linen, blend and it's very like, yeah. You're gonna be showing all your attributes. So this is the perfect dress for a vacation by the beach or something very warm. Absolutely. Okay, so that's how it fits. I'm showing my bra everywhere. <laughs> I feel very comfortable. This one is size. I don't remember. I think this one is size 
don't remember i'm just going to include it here the yeah. straps are not adjustable it has a zipper at the back and it's not working for me at all but if you're interested this is more like a vacation dress okay the dress is size is small the top is totally working but it's so so cute and i love the price and yeah this one looks expensive and it's affordable it's from h&m and that will elevate the look for sure the pants the pants fit me small i need to size up their low rise definitely they have bottoms here they have bottoms and they're wide leg but i definitely need to size up this is not my size i underestimate because i'm typically size six or four on h and mm, not really i need to size up like maybe eight or perhaps a ten i think size eight will be will be my my size i'm five seven for your reference and i feel that i need more length okay i'm pairing it with the espadrilles the espadrilles are mm, yes the top is a yes no pasta sauce for you because look at this okay so here you go okay another winner this one is a linen blend it's a shirt bottom down and yeah it looks expensive <laughs> yes i will classify this as uh, looking expensive and it's a really good steam but that's natural right that linen or linen blend tends to get more wrinkles so yes this one is a yes what do you think guys please let me know in the comment section let's be interactive okay give me like thumbs up or thumbs down yeah please let me know wow this definitely is a yes both of them <laughs> yeah this is a crochet top and i love it it looks really cute the color is ivory beige and the pants guys what to say about the pants these ones are size six i think i need to size up to size eight mm -hmm. i love the bottom the lead and they're high-waisted not super high-waisted but they're high-waisted so i am definitely getting the size eight these ones are size six and i feel that they feel a little bit tight here on my hips but I'm not gonna try the size 8 because I'm not gonna be doing this anymore but I think when I get the size 8 seriously I feel that I need more length that's why I'm gonna size up to size 8 but they fit really good here in my waist section and they fit good at my hips section as well so I don't know guys what should I do should I get the size 8 or should I get or should I just keep the size 6 you know what I like that they're not see-through yeah the material is very thick these ones are a must i love them yeah and i like that they're not like white white crispy white no i love that they're more like a creamy color <gasps> yes i love them okay i think i'm gonna get this size i talk which i do i don't know Okay, here is the top that is made of sweatshirt material he has puffy sleeves it's cute it is pretty cute very casual but can elevate any type of bottoms you can pair with skirt you can pair with trousers you can pair with anything that that that, that looks cute and it's pretty affordable and it looks very expensive as well yeah nobody's going to know that it's from h m that it costs less than 15 dollars for instance my camera is very confused I do have these lights that confuse my camera, so here you go. Now you have the real deal. Here are the cargo pants, and I need to size up because at, at the waist section it fits, but it fits a little bit tight, so I need to size up. These ones are size four, so I was very optimistic. I need to size up to six, but the color is gorgeous, and the bottom is gorgeous as well. They have pockets everywhere here, the two front pockets. Pockets here at the back and pockets here at all the sides. Yeah, these ones are nice, are very, very nice, but I need to size up. So I'm gonna ask for the size six on these ones and size eight on these ones. Okay, I request to gave me the following five items remember that i told you that i have 10 here and then i have five items 
uh, on hold but guess what they took them and they put them back to the rack so I'm not gonna be able to show you the next five because they just put them back <laughs> Alright, so that's okay. In the meantime, I request the size 6 on the cargo pants. They're still looking for them. And they just told me that this is the last ones that they have available here at the store. These ones are the size 6 and I don't know what to do. I feel that I need a little bit more of a length. And if I'm not 100%, so no, I'm not going to buy them. They need to be perfect. So I think that we're going to go ahead and order online size 6 that's the situation in the meantime let me just give you the last review of this spring haul dry on haul pieces that look expensive from H&M this one is a noodle this one is a bodysuit it's the white color it has um, it has a lining here just at the bra section and I don't know if you can see it but you can see where the lining stops you can see the the tag obviously if you buy this one you can remove the tag but it's obvious where the where the lining stops so I don't understand why they do half half of the job I mean if you want that the customer be satisfied just give us the full lining right so it doesn't look like this because guess what we're gonna return it anyway I don't know if we have the same situation with the black color the black color can simulate camouflage better right but mm, yeah you can see that it's not working the pants are not working i can see love handles here and there and I'm, 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 I'm not fat I don't, I don't have a belly okay so this is not working the pants are not working so yeah <laughs> i need to size up on the on the pants for sure to be fair the body shot is not giving me a wedging that's the only the only pro <laughs> But the quality is not good. That's insane because you know what? The fabric is very soft. It has a lot of potential. I like the neckline. I like the sleeves. I like the length. It's not giving me a wedgie. But it's see-through. And they only give us lining here at the bra section. And you can see like obvious. It's very obvious where the lining stops. So now to this, to this bodysuit. And hopefully they can find a size six on the cargo pants. He found the size six on the cargo pants. That's a good thing. Okay, I'm just gonna try them on then. Wow, okay, I'm happy. Let's try them on. Yeah, the size six fit better, way better. Mm -hmm. That's the power of the correct sizing, right? Mm -hmm. They fit better here at the waist section, at my hip section. These ones fit well, but they're not there. I'm not in love with them. And these ones are pretty nice. The length is nice. Yeah, okay. And I love the color. They're gorgeous. Yeah, they have more colors, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So my size is size 6 on this cargo pants and possible my size is size 8 on these pants. We never going to find it. Yeah. <laughs> The line to pay was insane, so I was as strong as a rock and I didn't buy anything. The only ones, the only item that I was so tempted to buy and I brought them was the ivory jeans on size 6 and I was not 100% because I think that my size is size 8 so I prefer to beat it and then I'm gonna order the size 8 online if they are available mm -hmm. and as always I always have an issue to find my car and today is not the exception I found my car. Okay, let's go. All right, guys. So, no makeup, and I'm just retouching my my grays with this one. You recommend me this one, and it's amazing. And I have been using just a little bit of this. This is the activator. Is that right? Yes. This activates the color and then you have the color and I'm just putting a little bit. I don't use it all at once. 
so that's pretty cool because I don't have a lot of braids and I only have like here and here and that's it and I'm gonna go to the hairdresser just to retouch that so this one has been very very convenient but I'm going to take advantage of this and I'm going to put some treatment on my hair and I'm just going to create a video pretty soon about what I have done to recover my hair. This was my hair two years ago. And now my hair is better. It's not perfect. I do have super thin hair, like baby hair. So for me, it's very difficult to maintain. And then plus I'm getting old <laughs> and that doesn't doesn't help right mm -hmm. so if you really want to recover your hair I am following this guy the blow out professor I highly recommend him I have been watching his videos and he has good recommendations so I highly recommend him and then on top of that you should listen to YouTube videos from people who has been struggling with their hair. Don't watch videos with girls that are wearing extensions or that they were born with beautiful hair. That doesn't count, guys. Girls with beautiful hair that, I mean, they have that gift. That's amazing. And the thing is when you watch those videos, your expectations are the same your expectations is that your hair is going to look the same as that, that person and that will never happen so yes so listen and watch videos with um, people that have been struggling with their hair this is my hair guys i have never been in the position to have good hair maybe when i was like super young when i was like 15 17 that was my hair super curly super beautiful but then life happens and yeah my hair has never been good and i struggle with that so i i am doing what i can to recover my hair so saying that what i'm going to be doing while well, this is work in progress i'm just going to apply all the blacks to my hair since i'm just going to rinse the color off. I'm just going to apply all the plex from my mid parts to my ends and that's something that I have been doing lately to help the condition of my hair because my hair is very easy to break and I am trying <laughs> what I can <laughs> to take care of these little strands. Look, this is, this is my hair. I don't have a lot of hair and I need to take care of the hair that I have. If you watch a video, I mean, I follow an influencer that she has beautiful hair and she's saying that she's struggling with her hair. I see her hair and I'm like, I wish that I have a quarter of your hair <laughs> because she has coarse, thick, beautiful hair she was born with beautiful hair so for me when they said that they're struggling that i have baby hair uh, yeah and then on top of that remember that i suffer from alopecia from my hair extensions it has not been cool it has not been cool so all the place is helping me there is some people that they don't like all the flex i mean try it it's it doesn't work for everybody but to try it and then you if, if it doesn't work try something else until you find your soulmate treatment for me all of this is working right now so i'm just gonna stick to it the way that i do it is i am um, once in a while maybe once every other week i apply all of Plex, and as you can see I apply a little bit of water just to make my hair wet and then I apply all the plex from my mid bars and I just make sure that it's like well you know apply over there and then I just leave it for 10 minutes 
according to instructions is 10 minutes and then you rinse it off since I'm going to be um, since my, my husband is watching his game so he's very excited I don't know if you can listen to him but he's he's watching basketball of his university from his college anyway so yes so this is the way that I apply all the flex and since I'm coloring my roots I'm just going to take advantage of that and I'm going to wait 10 minutes for this my oh, here you go here you go so I'm just gonna wait for 10 minutes <laughs> look at that <laughs> and then I'm going to rinse it off and then I'm going to tell you what I'm doing like not exactly I'm just going to create a dedicated video for that but this this really helps at least at least for me is really is really helping the condition of my hair okay I'm gonna wait 10 or 15 minutes and I'm gonna rinse this off <laughs> yes <laughs> this one has been sleeping here all day all day which means that she's going to be very active at night she's gonna be playing she's gonna be opening the door when we are sleeping because she's going to be full of energy she's an angel okay so I just took a shower and put my robe on because it's kind of cold <laughs> yeah so now the next step is that we are going to dry my hair mm -hmm. so here you go it smells so good let's see yeah no more grays just like that 10 minutes and then they disappear All right one of the things and that's going to be part of my hair routine but i'm doing it right now so i better tell you but one thing that you cannot skip is you need some kind of uh, leave-in conditioning conditioning conditioner so the blower professors recommend this one it's really good i got this OA leave-in conditioning this one smells so good and i think my hair loves this one my hair loves both of them the blow up professors recommend this one as i told you i discovered this one this one is a sample and i'm loving it so you always always need to apply leave-in conditioning that's going to lock the moisture so whatever you do do it right okay <laughs> you need leave-in conditioning that's going to lock the moisture on your hair so here you go and it's true I can see a difference this is something that I learned from the blow up professor as I told you get my wet hair my wet hair my wet brush and very gentle from the middle shaft well actually it's from the hands to the middle shaft to brush your hair okay there you go since I'm going to blow out my hair on top of the leave-in conditioning you need a heat protector so that's what we are going to be doing so the heat protector that I use is the one that again <laughs> recommendation by the blowout professor i'm using the red can big blue out and just need a little bit he did an experiment with uh, toast bread on the toaster and he applied different heat protectors and it was very very interesting i'm a big fan of him so he showed us how heat protector really helps the hair so never 
ever dry your hair without heat protector okay all right so here you go that's it i can't believe it is like almost 11 p.m guys but for some reason i have energy right now just gonna apply a little bit more here at the top this part that is always right okay here you go so i'm gonna brush my hair so it applies even look my hair is growing so i have like two strands but at least i want to have healthy strands <laughs> i look very white let me just adjust this oh, okay is it better i think it's better okay so that's done now i'm going to apply a little bit of heat to my hair before i use this one i use that red one I don't remember the name of this one. This is the Revlon brush. So, so good. Says with that one. You don't need a $500 blow dryer. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to wait until it's a little bit more dry before I go and dry my hair with this one. And then, that's it. I'm going to go to bed like that. All right. I'll be right back then. I'm going to let it air dry just a little bit. And I'll be right back. Princess Muffin is on the same position. Well, different position, but same spot. Uh, Muffin. I can see your eyes open. Nope. No. Okay. <laughs> oh, you're doing a cute, a cute face there. Cute. You're very, very cute. Mm. You're showing us your belly. <laughs> Good night, Muffin. All right, I'm back. My hair is a little bit more dry than before, so now I'm gonna go to town with this. I need to hurry up because it's almost midnight mm -hmm. but that's okay i was recording not recording editing this video that is going to go live tomorrow <laughs> yep okay so that's that this is my hair now i'm just gonna dry it with my Revlon brush loud noises <laughs> There's a life I lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't okay, so make it this easy This is the result Nothing fancy A little bit puffy That's okay, I need to pass the flat iron here But I'm gonna go to bed So that's okay, it doesn't need to be perfect Just a try But look at this in comparison to that, this is way better, right? Mm -hmm. So it's getting there. Now to finish, ah, one thing that is very important. If you're going to do some curl, you're going to be doing some flat iron or yeah, the curling iron, then you need another type of heat protector. So let me explain. I already dry my hair, right? But if I want to put some kind of a coral or if I want to flat iron this, right? I need to use another heat protector. And the one that the blow up professor recommend, recommends is this one. It's the Kendra Hot Spray. I have this one and you need to be like super like far away because otherwise it leaves your hair very gross. So, mm -hmm. but I'm not doing any of that. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna be explaining to you as part of my video 
that video that I'm gonna be doing for the hair. This is just like a short version of that. To complete the job, <laughs> don't forget the oil. I'm using this Olopex number seven bonding oil and just apply it to from the middle of your hair to the ends just to lock that moisture we need that moisture in order to grow our hair we need to protect the ends because those are the ends that are it's the older hair right that we have so we need to take care so it doesn't break or anything just the leftover to just apply it here and then that's it I mean, so fancy to go to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hair on a van because another thing, right? Going to bed like this with the friction of the pillow. I do have a silk pillowcase, but anyway, I don't want to take any chances. I'm going to put my hair on a van. I know, and then tomorrow I'm just gonna style it, but don't style it on dry hair you need to apply a little bit of water so well at least that's what I do the royal professor is going to be mad at me <laughs> mm -hmm. because he said that once that you style your hair that's it leave it like that for three days and wait another three days to wash your hair okay I need a um, haircut okay. all right never mind all right so that's all what I have Pretty interesting, right? Yeah, I didn't retouch it. I didn't do anything. Just apply my oil, and that's it. This is this is the real the real deal with with this. Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I'm gonna be styling my hair, and I'm gonna be using the one, and I'm going to be applying heat protector for the one or for the flat iron. I'm gonna be wearing my heat protector gloves. I always wear them every time that I use the one because that way I avoid burning my hands. Mm -hmm. Safety first, guys. Applying Kendra heat protector. I love how this one smells, and this is the one that the blow up professor recommends. Will you carry me like I am whole again? Wait, hold on, put me together, take me back where I belong. I leave the curling iron for six seconds maximum and I grab like one inches pieces and I just started from the top to the bottom just to make sure that there is a tight twist to the curl so I have a long lasting curl for days. I use a roller for my front pieces and I just leave it there for like 10 minutes and you can do your makeup, you can do whatever you want and then in this case I just put my outfit on and then I'm just going to style my hair. Don't worry, that is not the final look. <laughs> I'm gonna brush it off all the curls or you can leave it like that because the curls are going to smooth out but I'm using the wet brush very very careful from my ends to the middle of my of my hair and that's it I'm just styling it with my with my hands and just do what I can so it looks presentable I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone away Hold on Put me together Take me back where I belong I always, always end my styling with oil In this case I'm using this oil from Olaplex I think this one is super smooth, light and it smells delicious so I always apply some kind of a oil at the ends of my hair 
and the leftover that is on my hands i've just apply it on the middle of my shelf of my hair and then a little bit on the top of my hair <laughs> And that's it. That's how I complete this salon and I am protecting my hair. Here you go. And this is the final resort. As you can see, big difference from this to this. I have bouncy, curly hair and I love it. So it's giving me results. So I'm just gonna continue doing it. And I don't have a split ends, guys. My hair is super, super healthy right now. So it's just going to continue growing. Uh, my intention is to grow it up to here. So I know. So hopefully, maybe in two years, I'm going to be looking back at this video. I'm gonna be like, wow. Yeah, but so far, I am very, very happy with my hair. Oh, you know what, before I leave, this is what I'm going to be wearing today. I'm wearing the peplum top from Espress. I just ordered the white color. <laughs> They're so cute. This one is size extra small. And I'm going to be wearing these denim jeans. These ones are the flare from Espress as well. If you want to watch the entire review of a huge try and haul from Espress, I'm just going to link it here or in the description box below for you so it's easy. You just go boom click and it's going to take you to the video it's really good so if you're looking for pieces from express that video is for you look very very happy with today's with today's outfit i'm not wearing any shoes because i'm getting ready for the day but i think i'm going to be wearing maybe my rain boots because it's raining here in san diego you don't see it it's raining today or Mm, sneakers I don't know yet yeah but for now this is this is today's outfit okay guys so I'm just going to leave this vlog here because guess what this video needs to go live in like well it's almost a seven in three hours three hours four hours because it's going to go live at 11 a.m. Pacific time yeah so I need to add this <laughs> footage to today's video and I need to load it to YouTube and do all the work. Uh, yeah, you don't want to hear that. But that's what we have. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. And if you have more time and if you want to continue watching more of my videos, you can click here or here. YouTube thinks that one of those two videos is a match. I think that both of them are a match. You should watch both of them. <laughs> all right, guys. See you on my next one. Bye-bye.